Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. If you're new here, welcome everyone. We are here to get some info about the person on your mind. I feel called to start off by pulling some cards to see basically how they view you, how they're viewing you and the connection, what their general thoughts are, um, and then I'm gonna kinda go from there, see what I feel called to pull, additional information. But yeah, basically, Let's just get started with that. How does this person view the viewer? How does their person feel about the situation? What's this person, what are their thoughts about the viewer right now? And the connection. Thoughts about the viewer and the connection. Thank you. I'm trying to get one more. I'm feeling five. I don't know why I usually like to go with five with this style of reading. Okay. All right. Okay. So first up, we have the three of wands. We also have the six of swords. Somebody might have to move in order to make this connection work. Okay. We also have the four of pentacles. It would require a lot of saving, penny pinching, um, financial planning. Um, we also have the king of swords and the king of pentacles. Okay. So this person feels as though this connection would create a big change with their finances in the future. Um, I get the sense that this individual is not super emotional, okay? They are underneath the surface, but their exterior, they try to present as extra mature and guarded and protective and stoic, okay? So they're keeping their cards close to their chest and they're not letting you know how they really feel about you. Um, it's like, I feel like you are inspiring this person to take that risk, but the fact that you are doing that is almost making them keep even closer to themselves because they're afraid of how they feel about you, if that makes sense. Because traditionally, I feel like they've chosen some shallow partners, okay? Maybe partners that they had just for face value, um, for status, or because they felt easy, not because of emotional depth. There's something about you and your connection that makes this person feel differently though. Like you actually make them feel like they want to sell their house and move away and be with you, for example, and that scares them. And it's making them extra guarded and protected right now because they may have never felt that way before and chances are they haven't. Um, but you make them look ahead towards the future and to want to make some pretty big changes in their future. And I do think it freaks them out a little bit, to be honest, but at the same time, they're not running away from that. I think that right now they're in a phase where they're trying to process it. They're still guarded. Um, maybe giving them a little bit of space if you feel called to could help with the situation because they're trying to process a lot. Um, they may even actually be saving for this already, but they're still unsure and not completely decided yet, right? But they're kind of tucking some money away as a just in case because they feel called to, okay? So let me get some... Some more information, like what their current plans are. Let's go with that. What are this person's current plans? Their current plans. Whoa. Okay. This person's plans right now. What are their plans? I just saw the two of pentacles in my head. So I don't know if that's going to come out or not, but I think they're weighing their options. Okay. Come on now. What are this person's plans? There we go. Okay. Whoa. Okay. There we go. I think that's another five. Perfect. Okay. So the world. We also have the eight of cups. Yeah, they know they're going to have to walk away from something. Whoa. That, that like flew away from me. The Five of Pentacles. It's interesting that the Five of Pentacles is what flew away from me. So that's telling me it's almost like reading it in like in reverse or like it's the opposite energy, right? We have the Nine of Pentacles. This person is definitely thinking about moving, just so you know. Like it's about selling a house or something like that is necessary for the two of you to be together. They've had a wake up call about this, okay? They know it's something they want to do. They're really trying to pull out of their scarcity mindset because this was the card that flew away, right? They're, maybe your person has had a tendency to be very greedy or materialistic. 
okay? And that's one of the lessons that, and I just saw four, five, six as I was saying that, but um, they've had a tendency to be greedy, materialistic. Maybe they valued, again, shallow connections, superficial connections for financial reasons because it was easier on their wallet. They are coming out with that um, King of Pentacles energy. So I think money in general is really important to this person. Maybe they grew up wealthy or they're like a wealthy business owner. And so they're afraid of, you know, losing out on their income to be in a partnership. So that's part of why they've chosen shallow partners in the past. Um, but you've gotten into this person's heart. And now it's like they can't see things the same way anymore. Um, they could actually see having a house with you, again, like moving, especially if you guys are long distance or it would require one or both of you to move in order to like make this work. Like somebody would have to sell a house, particularly this person. They're thinking about having a home with you and literally walking away from their current situation in order to be with you. Like they know that they would have to walk away in order to make this happen from the place that they live or, or something involving their housing, okay? Um, but they have had this wake up call. They know it's what they want and they're going to do what they can to make it actually come into fruition. So interesting. Let's get out some, I'm gonna get, what deck am I feeling called to this one? Let's get out some more information. Like what's the likely future outcome? Like the next phase of this connection, what does it look like please? Together, wow. Find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to come together from what I can see here. Get closer to one another, spend more time with one another. Maybe that even means being in like a formal relationship, like you guys are exclusive, okay? Long distance. Did you guys see that? Seriously, okay? Long distance. Love knows no distance. It transcends time and space. I know what I'm talking about, you guys. I know what the cards are telling me. Some of you guys are going to have to move a long distance to be with each other. It doesn't even need to be like a super long distance. It could be across state lines. It could just be a big enough distance to the point where it would change your commute, okay? So take it how it resonates with your situation, but um, somebody's gonna have to move in order to make this work. So let's get out some, Ooh. That was too many, and then one fell to the ground. It did not come up face up though, so I'm not gonna take it. One more card, the future. Trust, guard your heart. Not everyone deserves your trust. Um, in this instance, I think it's also going to be important that both of you work on your trust issues with one another, particularly if you are long distance right now and you don't see each other in the 3D on a regular basis. I know that sometimes that can be like a wedge in long distance connections because you never really know what the other person is up to on a regular basis or it can cause suspicions. So it's going to be important that both of you repair the trust barrier and continue to manage that as time goes on. Okay. So let's get out some messages just for you now. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get out a couple messages just for you. It could relate to this connection or not. I'm leaving this portion open-ended. Jeez, you got a lot of messages. I think that's at least three, maybe four, so hold on. And by the way, if you guys like this video, if you guys have been enjoying it, I would absolutely love it if you'd like and subscribe. It helps me out and I'd love to see you for your future video. Yeah, that's way too many. We're not doing like six. So I'm going to take the one that came out solo and then I'll pull from a different deck for you guys. Sorry, but we're going to be here forever. Anyway, I don't think I finished my sentence. Anyway, like subscribe. That's all I was saying. If you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wander, and be totally unproductive, and you actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will increase exponentially. So basically, embrace that beautiful creative energy you feel. It's good for you. And it will actually help you out a lot in the long run. Okay. Message for the viewer. Thank you. 
can't grab it. We got two. Universe has a lot to say to you right now. I might have to do like a part two that has nothing to do with this connection just for you, a message from the universe. Because there's a lot trying to come out for you. 2112, it's up to you. Someone watching over you, good fortune, unseen forces, and direction. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will soon come true. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Maybe you've already been seeing that number. You also got 1919 with cycles. Karma, warning, judgment, influence, power, cycles, changes, and rebirth. Hmm. Karma will be paying you a visit. Hmm. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that you don't repeat it in the future. Make some space for new experiences. Ooh, that's a harsh message for you guys. Some of you need to like have a little bit of a wake up call. Karma's coming your way soon. Make sure this time around you learn that lesson so it doesn't keep repeating through a new person or situation. Just learn that lesson, check it off your little list, and move on your merry way. But I am going to go ahead and leave this reading here. Have a blessed day, everyone. 11-11. Bye for now.